to the trash bin even if you can't find them anywhere I'm gonna show you how to get your files back take a look at this tutorial follow each step by step procedure and we're gonna get you your files back if you guys have any questions along the way please do not hesitate to ask me below and I will be replying to all comments all right let's get to it and get all those files back Keep in mind that it doesn't matter which type of storage drive you're recovering, whether it's an internal, whether it's an external SSD, a flash drive, or a media card, we are gonna get your files recovered. This program is also available in Windows and in Mac OS, so you are covered there, which is quite nice. Click on the download link in the description below and download the file. Once the file is downloaded, go ahead and double click on it to launch it. And once it's launched, we're going to want to go ahead and install it. I really like how easy to use this program is and it works without any issues, which is a real big plus for me. So you're going to want to select which drive you're trying to recover from. So for me, it's not my Samsung drive, so I'm not going to select that one. I'm going to select in particular the SD card. For you, you're going to want to select whichever drive you plugged in or whichever drive is having the data loss issues. Then you're going to click on the blue button at the bottom right there to scan that particular drive. Luckily for me, it did find my audio file pretty quickly. And at the top left, you'll see a progress bar. So for you, it may take a little bit longer or it could be faster. Just be patient during the scan. It may find something near the very end or it might find something immediately. Let the scan complete and then when you get a chance, you will be able to recover these files. So here I can see that is asking if you want to do a deep scan and this may, this is offered, but you do not necessarily need to do this. I'm going to go ahead and skip the deep scan because I can already see that my file is in the reconstructed files folder. And I do see that it is that, that um, audio file. So I'm in good shape. So I can essentially just click the recover all button and I'm going to want to select an area where I want these files to be recovered to. So it's recommended that you don't recover the file into the drive that's having the issues or the drive that's having the file loss. You're going to want to recover it into a completely separate drive and this prevents errors. So what I did is I created a new folder on my desktop and I recovered the files to this new folder because I knew that this new folder was stored in my other drive that works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and recover it to that folder and I should be able to access my files. All right, recovery is in progress. And let's take a look and see if my file works. So I go ahead and access my desktop and double click on the folder. And it looks like my folders are indeed here, which is quite nice. You may see some duplicate files which may be created during the recovery process. Ignore these, they really are just kind of there as uh, the system attempts to recover things and it attempts to put them in various folders to try to categorize things. So my audio file works, so I'm really happy 